Office safety. Office safety? Are offices unsafe? Offices are safe, only if you have the safe attitudes. It is a fact that thousands of office workers suffer disabling injuries every year. Here are some negative attitudes and habits that set the stage for accidents. Overconfidence, it could never happen to me. Laziness, it's just too much trouble to do it the right way. Stubbornness, I'll do it my way. Sarcasm, safety is kid stuff. Forgetfulness, I meant to, but I forgot. Carelessness, oh, why bother? Showing off, no problem, watch me. Impatience, it'll take me all day if I do it the safe way. Ignorance, I didn't know it was flammable. Learn how to avoid slips, trips and falls. Keep all legs of your chair on the floor. Tilting back in a chair often results in overbalancing and fall. Leaning sideways from the chair to pick up objects on the floor is dangerous. Fill bottom file cabinet drawers first to prevent the cabinet from toppling. All file drawers must be closed immediately after use. Only one file drawer in the cabinet should be opened at a time in order to prevent the cabinet from toppling over. Avoid overloading top drawers. This can cause the cabinet to fall on you. Climbing on open file drawers must be forbidden. Watch out for polished floors, stairways, loose carpeting, floorboards and tiles. On stairways, use handrails and take one step at a time. Watch out for wet floor and spillage. Pick up pencils, paper clips and other objects that might cause a trip. Learn proper lifting techniques. Avoid obstructing your vision with large loads. Don't hurry, especially around corners. Don't store boxes, etc., where people might trip. Beware of telephone and electrical leads lying across the floor. Catching your heel on a lead almost guarantees a fall. Practice good housekeeping and store sharp and pointed objects separately. Learn these life-saving rules of fire safety. If you must smoke, do so at designated areas only. Dispose of matches, ashes, and cigarette buds in proper receptacles. Properly store and dispose of all materials that may be fire hazards, including cleaning fluids, photocopier inks, and oily or solvent-soaked rags. Use caution when operating electrical appliances. Turn off when they are not in use. Never overload circuits and extension cords. Learn the procedures of evacuation, reporting fire, and emergencies. Dot. Basic office safety tips. Slips and falls are the most frequent cause of injuries in the workplace, and people working in an office are twice as likely to be injured by falling than people who are working in other types of workplaces. Keeping alert and thinking ahead can help minimize the risk. Protecting your body from injuries. Sit upright in your chair, with your feet touching the floor when you're working at your desk. Before sitting down, look to make sure your chair is beneath you and hasn't rolled away. Look where you're going whenever you're walking around the office. Walk, don't run. Go slowly if the floor is wet or otherwise slippery. Don't read while walking. Always hold the handrail when using stairs. Immediately wipe up spilled beverages, water trapped in by wet shoes or drippings from umbrellas. Ask a custodian to do the cleaning if you don't have time to do it yourself. Obey your buildings, no, smoking rules, and don't throw matches, ashes, or cigarette butts into regular trash. Get up and stretch or walk around. This can help prevent injuries while promoting circulation. Equipment and furniture related safety. Don't touch electrical outlets, plugs, or switches with wet hands. Keep the floors and aisles clear of electrical cords. Use surge protectors and cable ties to manage the wiring. Refrain from meeting or drinking at a computer station. Spills and crumbs could get into the keyboard and cause malfunctions. If you must carry anything from one place to another, don't stack things up so high that you can't see directly in front of you. When carrying boxes, use the elevator if available. 
Only open one drawer in a filing cabinet at a time to keep it from tipping over. Close desk or file cabinet drawers before walking away so others don't walk into them. Store supplies inside of cabinets or bookcases, and place heavier items in the lower drawers or shelves. Reporting unsafe structural issues. Torn carpet. Loose tiles. Wobbly steps or floorboards. Burned out light bulbs. Broken chairs or desks. Other defective equipment. Stray electrical cables or obstructions of walkways. Possible unauthorized visitors. Technology and Internet health and safety. Never open emails sent by an unspecified sender or a sender you are unsure about. They may contain viruses that could infect your work computer. Don't send money or personal information, such as address, credit card numbers and social security number, to anyone via email or in chat rooms. Ensure your computer is virus-protected and checked periodically by an IT specialist. Cyberbullying can occur in the workplace. If you experience this, document what was said and report it to your supervisor or HR department. Staring at a computer for long periods can impact your eye health. Give yourself a break every so often to prevent your eyes from becoming too dry and avoiding strain. If your eyes do get dry, artificial tears can help alleviate discomfort. The light from your computer can impact your circadian rhythm in a negative way causing sleep-related issues. Try to dim your computer screen light as much as you can and be sure to get some fresh air and natural sunlight every day. Prioritizing your health. Wash your hands often. Keep a hand sanitizer at your desk and use it after touching communal doors or being in shared spaces. Be sure to stay hydrated throughout the day. If you are sick, the best thing you can do for your body is to stay home and rest. You're likely to get better more quickly if you give yourself a break and focus on recovering. Try not to come in close contact with anyone who is under the weather. Be sure you get your flu shot every year. Visit the doctor if you are experiencing severe symptoms that persist for longer than one week. Please give comment and suggestions. Thank you. Subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thank for visit our channel. See you next class. Thank you.